The number one is Cressy Palau Sof. The Cressy Palau SAF have an open heel design with an adjustable strap that makes them a great choice for sharing among friends and family members. Their short blade means they are convenient to travel with, and also makes them easy to use with most kick styles. The price is around $28, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 314 reviews which average rating is 4.2 stars for this product, a customer said. Perfect for travel. Comfortable and easy to adjust. I bought the XS, SM and I wear a men's 7.5 shoe. Fit well and work fine for snorkeling. Not sure I would body surf with them but would probably work. Very light and they fit on a backpack for easy carry when hitting different locations on the island we stayed on. Used for two weeks and no issues and they were a great price. Like having different colors as then you can figure out who was wearing which pair which saves a little time adjusting straps. Another happy customer said. Disclaimer, I'm a novice and only occasional snorkeler. That said, I'm very happy with these fins. For a recent trip I packed them in my suitcase, which is small enough that I sometimes use it as a carry-on. They fit in there great. The shorter length also made the fins easier to put on in and out of water. I didn't try walking in them, but I bet it would be easier, and slightly less comical, than walking in regular length fins. I also like the heel straps, which can quickly be adjusted for a snug fit and, once you figure out where to press, loosened for easy removal. As for swimming with them, I thought they felt a little stiff when kicking, but they gave adequate power for my needs and were comfy on my feet. Overall I'm quite happy with my purchase. An unhappy customer said. These are good because they are small and fit in your bag, but they also are not significantly better than swimming without anything to warrant lugging them about, emo. I found that I ended up not taking them with me, and just renting from a dive shop when I got to my destination. Otherwise, I would just bring my full flippers. Also, the buckles seem a bit weak, so take super care using them. The next product on our list is Seavenger Top Harpedo. The Seavenger Top Harpedo have short blades that won't take up much room in backpacks and carry-ons, and at less than 2 pounds a pair, they won't add much weight either. A handy pull tab on the heel strap makes for convenient donning and removing, too. This product is available on Amazon for $22, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 817 customer reviews, a customer said. I bought these for my trip to the Bahamas and I loved them. I usually don't like to wear swim fins because usually they are very long and awkward. These are great though, they don't feel like your typical swim fin and I love that about them. I wear a size 8 shoe, I bought the SM and they fit well, even my mother-in-law used them, she is a size 7. Great product to buy. Another happy customer said. We love these fins. We purchased them for the four of us for our upcoming VAK. Lightweight and small enough to pack in your luggage. Fit as expected. The only concern is that if not careful, a piece on the side can pop off. Do not adjust them over open water. My son lost his plastic piece therefore unable to use them the entire trip. He should have adjusted them on the boat. I contacted the seller to see if I could buy a replacement part. Still waiting to hear back after sending them a picture of the missing piece. Other than that we all had a great snorkeling experience with them aside from my 12 years old son who lost the piece I was talking about. An unhappy customer said. Product works very well. However the fins scratch very easily and I have a big complaint about the receiver buckles. They are made detachable and easily fall off if they are not on your feet. We spent an hour looking for one in the water and I ended up lysing one a couple days later unable to find it. 
I had to pooch a hole through the leather strap and use it similar to a belt. The next one is Cressy Pluma. The popular Cressy Pluma are made using a patented molding process that incorporates three separate materials, creating blades that are highly responsive in the water, and also very durable. Plus, they extend from the tops of the feet, which increases their surface area. The price approximately $39. This product is rated with 4.4 stars from 191 customer reviews, a customer said. Awesome quality, a little big so we did return. Another happy customer said. Out of the box first impressions, for fit, I'm pleased. I wear a women's 10.5, 11 and ordered the 8.5, 9.5 to 43 minus 44, the fit is good with bare feet, but significantly improved with a 3.00 mm nylon booty. They appear to be well made, and are actually made in Italy. The fins are black and have flecks of silver, they are good looking. I'm about to head to the Caribbean for 10 days so I will be using them extensively. Once I return I will update this review with how they performed. My only complaint, and it's petty considering the price point, quality is that you do need to purchase a bag to carry them in. An unhappy customer said. Very soft they don't disperse a lot of water when in movement I think I just got to get a better fins. The next product is. Scuba Pro Go Travel. Though pricey, the Scuba Pro Go Travel is a versatile pair that could just as easily be used for diving as shallow reef excursions. They boast a self-adjusting bungee heel strap that makes them a cinch to slip on, and a perforated design to reduce drag. The price is around $85, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 95 customer reviews, a customer said. Ordered the XL based on other comments, my foot is typically between a US 10.5 and or 11.0 depending on manufacturer. With a booty on, it fits perfect, so I'm ready for those warm water dives in MX in the Caribbean. Produce looks great and it shipped fast. Would purchase from them again. Another happy customer said. I specifically bought these for a travel experiment to pack all my gear in my carry-ons. These fit, just, in my roll aboard, not a purpose design roll aboard, just one I've always had. I honestly didn't notice any lack of underwater performance over my full size fins. I used these for 30 dives in Galapagos with no complaint. Current was low for most dives but they performed just fine in the one higher current dive as well. I used with 2mm neoprene dive socks. The only thing I am planning on doing is seeing if I can form fit the foot pocket a bit with a heat gun as I have a very high arch foot. I think these would fit perfect for a normal foot shape. I still had none of the foot ache I get with my other fins. Not for use with dive boots, unless maybe you really oversize. An unhappy customer said. They're nice finds but I wasn't sure about the size for me. I'm usually a women's 8.5, 9 in sneakers and heels because I have a wide foot. I didn't even take the booty into consideration that I was going to need with these fins. I ended up getting an 8 women's, 7 men's booty and the ML of these fins and they worked out really well happy with them as I am a new snorkeler. They also worked well in the water because I don't have a lot of strength in my legs to do long strokes as required with longer fins. These smaller fins I was paddling more but smaller strokes and it was much more enjoyable than with longer fins I had previously used that had straps which I lost one that trip. Speaking of which, I love the stretchy string that goes around my heel, worked really well with fin even though I was suspicious. I was looking for the spring ones but these worked out perfectly, the ML size for me. 
The next one is Wildhorn Outfitters Topside. The Wildhorn Outfitters Topside have an unusual design with an integrated soft and stretchy neoprene boot that makes them very comfortable and adds some extra warmth. A Velcro ankle strap helps to ensure they stay securely in place as you kick. The price is around $69, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 679 customers have review this product, the average rating is 4.1 stars, a customer said. Amazing, I had bought one pair to test them out and loved them so much bought another pair for my husband. We just got back from Hawaii and we're so glad we took these with us. I love these fins. The sole like a shoe, this makes it easy to walk in them and I love that it covers the whole foot. We had a friend step on a sea urchin and really hurt his foot. The soft neoprene, I have a high arch and top bone and it makes it hard to fit certain shoes, other foot gear. My foot fit perfect and I had no pain from pressure on my bone. The strap helps with extra security to your foot. The fin, this fin is shorter and easier to swim with. While on our snorkel tour I tried on the pair they lend out and it was so bulky and hard to use. I kept feeling like it was going to fall off and it was uncomfortable on my foot. I am so glad I had my own pair to use. We also used this with their mask, https colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash seaview dash degree dash panoramic dash snorkel dash design slash dp slash b o one k three q one seven eight o slash ref equals l p underscore one two two o six two four o o one 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 underscore one underscore one question mark SRS equals one two two O six two four O O one one and I equals UTF eight and cheat equals one five one one two nine eight O seven six and SR equals eight dash one they go great together and we had a wonderful another happy customer said we travel pretty frequently and love to snorkel. Since space is limited when we travel, it has always kind of annoyed me that my husband always insists on packing his fins. This product has solved that problem for me. These fins are compact, travel friendly and functional. Rather than floppy, slippery fins, these fins have tread on the bottom and the fin itself is slightly raised off of the ground, so walking in them is not hard at all. You can easily put them on up on the beach and walk down over rocks and sand without worrying about tripping. I can see where this would be super useful in areas where there is lava rock, coral or other sharp surfaces. Also, as an added benefit, the flexible sock part goes up and over the foot with ease and fits a range of feet, so both my husband and I can wear the same fins. I used to not wear his fins because they would give me blisters, but these fins have a soft surface that would make it pretty impossible to get a blister. In the water these work as well as longer fins because the fins themselves are quite rigid. An unhappy customer said, These fins are very comfortable, but you'll have to work harder in the water. I tested these in our pool and this is what I have discovered when tested against the US Divers Trek Travel Fin, short fins for traveling, swimming on my back for 40 feet, without fins equals 55 flutter kicks with topside fins equals 36 flutter kicks with Divers Trek Travel Fins equals 22 flutter kicks caution, these fins are very buoyant. I had a hard time keeping them underneath me when I just wanted to tread water. When I snorkel, I like to dive down, but these topside fins don't help propel you down well due to their buoyancy and decreased propulsion. 
These fins aren't flexible, nor are they as wide as the diver's Trek travel fins, but you can't beat the comfort. If you are just snorkeling in little current and don't dive down, these are a comfortable choice. The next one is Aqua Lung Stratus 3. Offering some similar design features to scuba flippers, but with a full foot pocket and the shorter blade more common in snorkeling models, the Aqualung Stratus 3 combine the best of both worlds. Their bend point is close to the foot to reduce fatigue. The price is around $59, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 40 customer reviews, a customer said. These nice pair of diving fins perfectly fit my 25x18 x10 travel suitcase. I used it for six months while visiting 15 different islands in the Philippines mainly for snorkeling. They're perfect for snorkeling as they have somewhat of a backbone that will propel you quickly for that occasional underwater adventures to get a close-up shots of turtles or a school of sardines. You can't go deep with these fins though as they're positively bow-eyed and be advised that this product has a little weight to it compare to a regular and much shorter snorkeling fins available in the market. Another happy customer said, Fit my feet great, size 10 and a half. I snorkeled in the Bahamas and they worked great, their length gave me great propulsion, no complaints whatsoever would highly recommend to anyone. The next one is Headmares Volo 1. The Headmares Volo 1 feature the company's patented optimized pivoting blade hinge technology, which allows them to maintain an efficient angle throughout the entire kicking process to produce a constant thrust, resulting in a fluid movement through the water. This product is available on Amazon for $21, check out the link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 3.8 stars with more than 95 customer reviews, a customer said. These fins are amazing for the money. I have used them several times now. I love the snaps on each side of the heel strap. They have enough room to wear a dive shoe in them. Loved them so much I purchased a set for my whole family. They propel you through the water nicely. Another happy customer said, These thing are great. I use them when I snorkel here in Hawaii. Gets you moving through the water really fast. Very comfortable too not like many others that hurt after a little while. An unhappy customer said, I swim three to four times each week for about an hour, either at a local pond in warm weather or during cold weather, at a local indoor pool. I always swim with fins because it gets my heart rate up faster and longer, and because I've catastrophic tears in my rotator cuffs, greatly limiting my arm strokes. I've bought three sets of these Head Mares Volo 1s over the past year. I like their light weight, roominess in the toe box, adjustability of fit, and solid performance in the water. However, they just don't last. All three pairs have fractured across the width within just months of purchase. To be fair, I do use them frequently in a chlorinated pool and chlorine can certainly break down vinyl and rubber products. However, I always rinse them thoroughly immediately after leaving the pool, and dry them before storing them away in a bag for transport. I wish I could say that the company is working on the issue to improve longevity, but sadly the quality is moving in the other direction. My third pair was purchased in early December, 2017 and lasted only four months before both fins developed fatal fractures. I've tried gluing. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.